In this video, we're going to discuss if getting an online computer science master's degree is a good idea for you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Will. I'm an engineering manager, an online master's degree student in computer science. And on this channel, I discuss my experiences learning online and also my professional growth as a software developer. Today, I'm going to cover three important topics to help you determine if an online master's degree in computer science is the right fit for you. Let's get right into it. Step one, what's your primary goal for getting an online master's degree? There are three primary categories people fall into when looking into an advanced degree like a master's of computer science. One, you're looking to add a credential to jump into a new career. Or two, you're looking to boost your own career growth in your current career. Or three, you just simply like to learn more and you like a structured environment in doing so. For you aspiring career jumpers, you need to determine if the online master's degree in computer science program you're looking at will get you the skills that will get you a job in the field that you're looking to move into. CS grads typically find jobs in technical roles like software developer, architect, data scientist, or even machine learning or AI engineer. If these type of roles are what you're looking to jump into, then the online master's degree in computer science is probably a good fit but I recommend that you go and talk to someone that has a job in the career they're looking to jump into and ask what their academic background is or even just straight up ask them if they think that if you got an online master's degree in computer science would help you acquire a job in the role that they have currently. Next, if you're looking to turbocharge your career trajectory, sometimes an advanced degree like an online master's degree in computer science can help get you there. What I'm gonna say next is pretty obvious, but you should talk to your manager and discuss if they think that an online master's degree in computer science will help you progress in your career. A lot of people make assumptions when it comes to career growth, and to me, it's just best to talk to the person that's most directly responsible for your career progression, and that's your manager. Another good tip is to look at your company and see if there's been a precedence with someone that has taken an advanced degree or an online master's degree, and if that helped them grow their career. If so, then it might be a good idea for you to do so as well. Lastly, maybe you just wanna learn some of the skills that are offered in one of these online master's degree in computer science programs. There are plenty of opportunities to learn these skills via free mediums or paid subscription models like YouTube, Pluralsight, Udacity, or Coursera. But if you like structured learning with strong cohorts of peers that are high caliber, then an online master's degree program in computer science might be a good fit for you. Next up, you need to consider your free time versus learning payoff. Make no mistake that just because this is an online program that it's any less demanding on your time than an in-person program would be. At the end of the day, the same college degree will be printed on your diploma, regardless if you took the classes online or in person. So to do so, the colleges must protect their rigor and prestige of their programs, so they do that by not watering down the online versus the in-person components. So next, if you've determined from the first step that you have a strong benefit to pursue one of these online master's degree in computer science programs, then you need to be willing to trade your free time and leisure time for the next couple of years to achieve your goals at getting a diploma. If this short-term sacrifice boosts your goals or your career trajectory or just gives you a good sense of achievement and you're willing to trade time for that, then an online master's degree program is probably a good fit for you. So here's a pro tip. Check with your company to see if you were to enroll in one of these programs, if they would allocate you a block of hours to do some studying, either be monthly or weekly, so then you can balance your work life so you can do some coursework during working hours. All right, so the third component, what is the cost benefit of one of these programs? So the great thing about these online master's degree in computer science programs are is that they're relatively cheap. The two most popular ones are the Georgia Tech OMS CS, and that takes about $7,000 to complete. And then the Illinois MCS takes about $22,000 to complete. In almost every case, the return on investment on one of these online master's degree in computer science programs are quite high, just due to the low barrier of entry and cost. Even if you don't get a new career, a big pay bump, the learnings that you'll have and the connections you'll make with the high caliber peers in the program is well worth it. So with the extremely low cost of these programs, it's very likely that the only thing you have to invest is actually your time itself. It's very possible that you could pay off the whole program just through tuition reimbursement or some tuition reimbursement with the company covering the rest of the cost. So what's the conclusion? Well, for me personally, 
I saw that my leadership team discussed and thought that it would be worthwhile for me to take the Illinois MCS program to improve my skills and develop myself as a leader in a technology field. In my opinion, if you have a strong why and a good benefit for doing one of these programs and you're willing to sacrifice time, I would say this is a good fit and you should do one of these programs. The cost is so low, it's almost negligible. If you're interested in learning more about enrolling in one of these online CS master's degree programs, take a look at my short playlist on the process. I'll see you in there.